Hey guys, welcome back. We are carrying on. We're in the elephant land. We had the first level last time, so let's have a little go at the Big Dipper. Alright, so on this one we've got a big ass truck and we've got to get this star down here, so... First things first. Ooh, make that curved. Put our curve in. And I reckon just touch it. And then... Fill it with road. Boosh! My favourite button ever. I am thinking... I'm thinking something like that might be quite cool. Let's try and do this out of wood to start with. I might regret this. Alright, so just a little idea I've got here. I don't think it's the best, by any means. <laughs> so essentially I've got this kind of steel arch that I'm hoping most of the weight will go against this wall. And then I got a very small truss in the middle which is supported by a few ropes so pretty much all the weight is going through this arch and into the wall here. I've got a tiny bit of rope just to make sure this arch doesn't slip down. I don't know if I need that, I assume I do. Let's just see if that falls. Well no, it does hold without the rope. Oh. Let me put the rope back in and see if... <laughs> I haven't tested this at all yet. I'll put the rope back in and just see if that holds better. Uh, it's very red, that road. But it's not looking bad. Oh, it was close. So what broke the road there? I wonder if that's because these triangles aren't very symmetrical. So I'll just do that. I'll make these ones... Can you see they're nice equilateral triangles now? Maybe that one out a little bit. Right, so this is a really quite inefficient design, like, price-wise. But I thought it looked quite cool. So let's just see if this works now. Because the road is not happy. But yeah, it's quite a cool idea, a little arch. Um, I will definitely redo this if we make it across, which I think we're going to. It's just whether he struggles up the hill. No, we made it. And we're under budget. But I think we're going to be nowhere near that leaderboard. But it is decent. Probably the best looking bridge I've built. A bit of a bilf, you could say. That means bridge I'd like to film on my camera. So scrap all this curvy-wurvy nonsense. Let's get top something percent. Okay, so if we go off the old truss principle. Hang on, that's going to go that way. Oh, actually, I'm thinking then. We go underneath. Turn that bloody thing off. Go underneath with a normal-ish truss. Which I can't draw for some reason. And what I think I might do, once this is in place... And I might have a little go with the old rope and tension stuff again. So we know as the weight comes down this road, all these triangles are gonna get get are gonna get stretched apart. So if we were to rope, I might just rope the entire length. And if this fails, I guess we could go up to oh, I wonder actually, would it be worth getting rid of these end ones and just doing rope? <laughs> My brain's a bit like, was that clever? Oh, so it works-ish. Oh, it's holding. Oh my god, it's actually working. Please, 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 please. Look at the cost. I reckon I engineered the shit out of that. Whoa, I reckon I can make that quite a bit cheaper as well. Top 4%! <laughs> yeah, so, prime example there. Architects, engineers, very different sort of, I don't know, end goals if you like. This is an engineer's bridge. Cheap, does the job. The one before, beautiful bridge, absolute bilf. But that's an architect's bridge. So, I might just go a little bit better with this. I reckon I can make a lot of these a fair bit smaller. I'll probably leave the middle ones big, but I reckon these end ones can get a lot smaller. So maybe try something like that if I mirror that. I might be completely wrong and I just completely fluked my first go, but we'll see, we'll see. 
Oh, it broke. Oh, shit. How much more is cable? So that's 1177 rope is. Oh, okay. So cable's twice the price. So we're probably better off just making this end a bit bigger. I'm just going to kind of do it till it works and then I'll mirror it later on. Nice. Because if you look down here, these are all staying quite yellow. Which I think means we could make them a bit smaller. Alright, so it took a bit of fiddling. And essentially these top bits of road kept blooming snapping. So what I did... I put in an extra little node there so the road doesn't attach to our anchor point. But we've got a tiny bit of cable in there. And basically what that allows the bridge to do is kind of have a bit more flex, a bit more play. So as we watch this, we can see it's just a bit of give. And it just allows a bit more play. Oh, and it is going red. So I think most of the time, pretty much all of our pieces go very red. And then over the top, and we made it. And we're a fair bit cheaper there. So we'll see if we went up at all. Top 2%, 285. Pretty happy with that, considering it didn't actually spend too long. Sweet. Engineering, eh? Right, compression is our next level. Ooh, so we have a double bridge thing going on. So let's just do what we like to do. And bung that over there. Fill with road. Bung that from there. Fill with road. Look at me, I am learning this stuff. Oh no! I've just noticed there's a balls... Scrap that. So there's a star in the middle, which means I gotta bring this truck. Oh no, it means I gotta bring both of them. Right, so he's gonna have to go up as high as he can. What order does they both go at the same time? <sighs> We've only got 20 thou as well, so... Oh, there's an ant on my screen. You can't see that, but there is, and he's just gone that way. That's weird. Anyway, I've just worked out I'm gonna have to... It, well, actually, I don't, actually. I could do what I did before and do just a bit of... So that should drop everything down a bit. Oh, it's quite a way down, actually. We'll try that solution just to get a bit of give rather than doing an extra road, but I don't know if that'll work. So connect these together. And for now, let's just steal this. Alright, it's two problems. <laughs> There's not enough headroom. And that completely failed. So we'll press start. Oh, so he jumped on there, okay. That's fine. Oh, he's <laughs> the old headroom's a bit tight under there, isn't it, mate? Go on, put your foot down. You can actually see these getting stretched. Do you see they're yellow? That's because he was stretching them apart, that's cool. Alright, so that worked. I don't think we're going to be anywhere near a good score. 40%. Okay. So let's get rid of the steel to start with. I think we probably don't need that bit of rope either. Let's do a double truss. And see if that's any better. So the only thing I'm a bit concerned about is this. Here. Yeah, I think I actually need a support down to there. Is that any good? I don't know if it's breaking because he's hitting his head or if it's just the weight. So I'm just going to reinforce the road so I can try and work out. Oh, so that one piece of reinforced road did it. So a bit cheap. I don't think we're going to be much better on the leaderboards. I'll have a look. 14. Hmm. I think I can do better. Alright, let's do the old, the usual method that we would do. And we'll see what stays green, what goes red, all that sort of stuff. Alright, so. That's very green the whole time. I wonder if I could just get rid of that. Ooh, that's yellow now. Oh, there you go. That's one down. I think maybe that one as well. I 
Quite a few of these are green. Let's get rid of that cross brace. Oh no, I need it for that. Let's try and make that one piece. Oh, not a road. Alright, let's just see if that's any better. Looking good over here. I can get rid of... Well, we could probably do the same and try and make that one piece. Oh, come on, just join up and then I can move you somewhere. Okay. Can he fit over there? Bonk. Okay, so he does fit. I don't know what else I can do, to be honest. So that's a lot cheaper if we move over there. Right, so I've just raised this piece. I'm just worried he's not going to fit, but I may as well raise the other end if it makes it cheaper as well. Right, so we will try this. Is there enough strength? Yes, there's enough strength. It's just a case of can this guy <laughs> fit through? Go on, son. Go on. <laughs> Don't care about scratching your roof. It'll be fine. Let your tires down. Let your tires down. Ooh. There's so much stress on these getting, like, pushed up. I think we're about to make it, though. Oh, lovely. Right, so we're just over 10 grand. So let's see where that put us on the leaderboard. Top 2%. Not gonna lie, I am well happy with that. Right, I think one more level for today, which will be doubling down. Ooh. Right, so in terms of a basic bridge, I think that should be fine. I've just got to work out how... Hang on, what's heavier? Four, four and a half. Okay, so if we can hold this dude, we should be able to hold the entire thing. Oh, this is really green. Look at those forces. They're on like 30. Okay, so I can massively shrink this down. But before we get too far, I need to worry about this, <laughs> this submarine that's going to take my bridge down. So I probably need a draw bridge, which means where would be a good point? If I hinge there, I assume, will that hold itself? Yes, that should hold. So I can probably make that a joint 2-2. Two -two. The question is, will that go high enough? Alright, let's turn the stress off, because we know we're absolutely fine. 50%. I don't... It's going to be about there, isn't it? Which I don't know. It's going to be tight, I tell you that. Nah. Luckily, I can do that. So that should completely solve our thing. Now let's trim down some cost before we even bother having a look at the leaderboard. Muscle. I wonder if I get away with just doing... I need another one over there. Let's bring these down as far as we can. We might be better off actually just doing a... This is a bit weird looking. But it should make sense when it's done. Should. So you've kind of got half muscle that turns into two muscles. I don't see why that shouldn't work. Oh. Yeah, I do, because they're not connected. Oh no, we're buckling, we're buckling. <laughs> oh, that is dodgy. Have I got... Oh, that's why I've got no bloody... <laughs> that's better, that makes more sense. I wonder, actually, if that's overkill. I think I might just want to do a straight-up muscle with that on top. Yeah, that's a bit better. I can definitely bring these down. Alright, so they're all down quite a bit. I'm just going to run that as a little sort of test. Is my joint still okay? Yeah. Alright, so we'll see how that looks. It's quite cheap. Yeah, everything is going quite orange. The old percent's quite low though. Question is... Ooh, do we avoid that submarine? Nice, that's looking good. Pretty decent. Oh, he's got a little propeller. That's cool. Back down again. And then I think the taxi weighed less. So we should be fine. Oh, he canes it. Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to make these a little bit bigger. That's a shame. 
That's a big shame. All right, so I've made these a tiny bit bigger. How much bigger do I need to go? Oh, no, it worked. Yay. Sweet. So, this is the first time we've been on the leaderboards, I think. I have no idea where we'll be. Hopefully we're quite good. Ah, oh, top 4%. Brilliant. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna spend hours trying to make that better. I could do. 10,000 better! How do people do that? They're just using the old cheat things, aren't they? I'm not cheating. Well, I guess cheating. I don't know. You know what I mean. They're not engineering. Either way, pretty happy with my, uh solution there quite cheap from the off top four percent and uh thanks for watching guys remember if you like the video click that like button because it really does help and if you want to see more subscribe and you'll get a little notification when i upload sweet thanks guys see you soon